West key numbers are an essential component of the National Digest System, published by West. This screencast demonstrates how to use the key number system on the Westlaw platform. There are multiple points of entry to the key number system online. First, you can search or browse the key numbers directly. This is the most efficient if you have a key number at hand or if you have a key number topic but need to drill down to some more specific materials. If you do not have a key number or topic, but rather a case to start your research, you can identify the relevant key number within the case or even a secondary source like Amjar and access the digest system from there. I will demonstrate both of these methods in this video. Let's start with accessing the key number system directly. From the Westlaw homepage, we find the key number system on the homepage under the All Content menu. Here we see the key number system in its entirety. Consider a hypothetical where Mary breaks her engagement and considers the diamond engagement ring a gift. We are researching the law of gifts to determine whether or not she must return the ring. If we come to the key number system with a known relevant key number, we can browse this page to access the key number and the related materials directly. I know, for example, that the law of gifts is under topic 191 for gifts in the key number system, and I want to find specifically key number 34 for qualified or conditional gifts. So I'll scroll to topic 191, gifts. And to key number 34 for qualified or conditional gifts. Now you'll notice in the search bar at the top of the page that my searches from here will retrieve only results associated with key number 34. And I also have access to the filters for jurisdiction. This allows me to search all the cases associated with key number 34 on the topic of qualified or conditional gifts. I'd like to search within these results with a simple terms and connector search for engagement in the same sentence as ring. I now have 138 results that meet that criteria. From here, I continue to filter by jurisdiction to find cases that meet these requirements as binding authority in my jurisdiction. However, I may not have a key number to start. I may only know the topic or I have an idea for a topic. So if I back up to the key number system, I see from the homepage that I have a couple options to search or browse broadly. I can choose a broader topic and drill down to something more specific, or I can select multiple topics and conduct a search. So for example, I can choose to search topic 191 for gifts and combine that with a search under topic 253 for marriage and cohabitation. Now my search in the global search bar at the top limits my search to just these two key numbers. What if you're starting your research with a case rather than a key number or topic? So for example, I have a case citation for Campbell v. Robinson. Following the caption and the West synopsis, I find the West headnotes and associated key numbers. I should review this case carefully and identify which of these headnotes and key numbers would further my research. Then click through the key number to find all cases associated with that particular key number. For example, key number 34, qualified or conditional gifts. Because my original source is a South Carolina case, that is the default jurisdiction set here. However, because the key number system is national, I can easily change the jurisdiction to jump to cases in North Carolina. This comes in handy when a relevant case from a different jurisdiction comes across your desk. It can still be a perfect starting point if you use the digest system efficiently. These are the basics for accessing and searching West's key number system on Westlaw.